Jake Paul would destroy Sean Strickland. I mean, if you don't know, recently Jake Paul, sorry, recently means like a 10 hours ago or some shit like that. Uh, 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 Sean, yes, the UFC fighter, beat it up Sneeko. If you don't know Sneeko, he's like that alpha red pill content creator, Sneeko. Uh, he cut box for shit. I think he's not even an av- amateur boxer. He he's not a boxer. He's he's he is a influencer, and he got beat by Short Strickland, and that was bad. That was bullying. He bullied Nico in a sparring match, which is obviously horrible, very unsportsmanship. But I wasn't surprised. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm surprised. Oh, I'm shocked. I am not shocked. This is definitely a thing that Sean Strickland would do. So I'm not shocked at all. But yeah, so he does that and Jake Paul uh, tweets a thing shaming his act. And like offered him to spar Jake Paul. Jake Paul said if Sean can beat him in a sparring match, then he would give Sean $1 million, which is half of Sean's net worth. And then Sean said something like, Sean did say something like, oh, uh, you couldn't even beat a part-time boxer, referring to Tommy Fury. So here, where we go, like, let's be like, like, let's talk about this, like, so Tommy Fury, who is the brother of the heavyweight champion, boxer of the world and the son of John Fury is a part-time boxer. Tommy Fury who is boxing since he was six years old and he is 24 now. So Tommy Fury is boxing for 18 years, a decorated amateur career, 10 and 0 boxer, is a part-time boxer. Okay, so if Sean Strickland is saying Tommy Fury is a part-time boxer, why, why, why he, why he doesn't fight Tommy Fury then? Let's see how that goes. Tommy Fury would legend knock him out easily. And Tommy Fury doesn't even hit hard. He's just a good boxer. So, it's just lies. I mean, at least if you're gonna roast the guy or insult the guy, at least like talk some at least talk some real shit and then he's a psychopath like I'm, he's a psychopath Sean then he then he says something like he wants to kill Jake Paul he wants to kill Jake Paul legally and how he could do that so he wants to kill he he, he wants to kill all the people not Jake Paul he just he wants to kill all people. First of all, he just lies, says that Tommy Fury is a part-time boxer. So that so so yeah, if Tommy Fury is a part-time boxer, I would love to see Sean fight Tommy. And let's see how that goes. Let's see. <laughs> so I'm not trying to defend Jay. Uh, I'm not trying to defend Tommy Fury, but. Like saying Tommy Fury is a part-time boxer is is the most stupidest thing ever. Tommy Fury would beat beat Vidal Riley, who is the English champion of of English champion, what I would say. By the way, I, I, I would love to see the match Vidal Riley versus Tommy Fury. I think Tommy Fury beats Vidal by very close margin. A lot, a lot of people like doubt Tommy's skill, but Tommy's not a bad boxer. He's a pretty great boxer. I mean, yeah, I mean his defense is horrible, but so let's talk about the fight. So, so he said yes, he would fight Jake Paul. Now let's see when Sean fights Jake Paul. And most of the people in Twitter was was saying Sean would win. I don't know what these people smokes. I have seen Sean box Nico, and he is wild and horrible. He's his wild hooks, very horrible technique. 
I even I would destroy Sean Strickland. Like he, he's just not a boxer. I'm not. I'm not doubting him in UFC. He might be a great UFC fighter. I would agree that like he's a great UFC fighter. But UFC great UFC fighters are not that good. Now a lot of people say, oh, so you don't think Tyron Woodley and this is Silva is not that good? Yeah, mate. I don't think they're that good. I don't think. I think Tyron Woodley is a decent boxer. I think Anderson Silva is a decent boxer. Nothing special. Like, if Tyron Woodley and, and Anderson Silva, I would have to rank them as a boxer, I would say they're average. So, does that mean Jake is average? No, Jake can beat both of these guys pretty easily. J- I would say Jake is a great boxer now. He was a good boxer. Now he's a great boxer. Uh, he's a great boxer. The way he knocked out Andre August in the first round is fucking beautiful. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to suck off Jake Paul, but it was beautiful. I can't lie, it was beautiful the way Jake knocked out Andre August. <laughs> I mean, I'm still waiting for Jake to reply to, uh, Lib. Or Gib. Like, the thing with Shen Strickland, the, there is a topic. Yeah, Jake can fight him. I still don't, oh, I mean, yeah, I still don't think Jake Paul would sp- fight him in a like clear event. I think he would just spar him and knock him out. But I don't, at least, sh- at least Sean is a UFC champion and not like Gib, who is some YouTuber boxer. And just beat an Austin McGroom and thinks he can beat the guy who knocked him out in two minutes. The gift fight really doesn't make sense. That's why I, that's why I don't support the game rematch. Because that doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, we, not because Jake is going to knock him out in one second. That's not the reason why the gift fight doesn't make sense. The reason the gift fight doesn't make any sense is because Jake, Already knocked out Gibb in first first round, two minutes specifically. So, a guy who Jake, it's like if it's like if Jake fights Andre August again after knocking knocking him out in first round, it really does make sense. I mean, Gibb is begging for the fight. Gibb is begging for the fight because he knows Jake Paul is a money fight. So Gibb is obviously begging for that. He wants to, he wants to, he wants to get some money. Even he gets knocked out. I mean, he got knocked out again. Who cares? But he gets the money. So that's why Gabe is trying to fight Jake Paul again. And yeah, I mean, I think it's done. I think Jake Paul is going to knock Sean out in the first round. Like, oh, UFC champion, nothing special. Jake already has beaten all the former UFC champion. It's nothing new. So I guess that's for and yeah, I mean Jake is gonna destroy Sean in first round, knock him out cold. I mean Sean said yes, but I don't really see him fighting Jake. Anyways, I am waiting for Jake's next fight against Ryan Borland. My prediction is I forgot my prediction. Okay. My prediction is first round. Jake is going to knock out Ryan Borland in first round. And thanks for watching this video. And bye.